amazing place for the children to come and explore and at the same time um, doing, you know, getting so many learning experiences and, and these are learning experiences the children don't really realise how much they're learning when they're in their space. You know, the transfer of uh, subjects from that classroom space to this more informal environment is wonderful. Children that might ordinarily have some behavioural issues within that more formal setting when they're in this space are so much more relaxed and uh, and really ready to, to uh, just engage and, and get their hands in and really learn. Yeah, I'm happy, excited and I love it. This is the best um, gardening. Oh, it's provided free food for our, our families and our community. And it's just pure great news. How we all get together and work together like we're a big family. So the gardens, look, multi-benefit to the school. Um, academically, it's linked to programs. Socially, it provides a, a, a venue for kids to work together collaboratively in teams. And then in terms of uh, lifestyle, it gives them an understanding of where their food comes from and also gives them a little bit of food security. The model that we've done here is very much based on a student-led model. Um, we don't have a lot of volunteers working in the garden. So this is an example of a garden that is um, kid-maintained, student-maintained, student-developed. If we can do it anyway. Yeah, this garden has been like a lot to the local public school. Like the education that has been like given to the children has been a lot. Oh, it feels great. Like, yes. Oh, like it's an honour. Yeah. yeah, it's an honour, like, just to have a garden. Like, some yes. schools don't even have it, so we're lucky in this garden.